Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abigail and today I am back with another 23andMe Ancestry update. So I've made a couple of videos about 23andMe before and as research is done the results can change slightly and this is the third update that they've done since I purchased 23andMe. This latest update was actually back in October, but I just noticed it now. So we are going to take a look at it and see what has changed in my ancestry. So before the update, I was 99.4% European, and now it says that I am 99.5% European. So this is how it breaks it down. Before the update, I was 44.1% British and Irish, and with this update, it upped it to 53.9% British and Irish, which really isn't that surprising because I do have a lot of British and Irish ancestry in my family, and my last name is a very British last name. I was 31.5% French and German, and now it is 36.4% French and German, which is also not that surprising because my mom's side is very German. I was 1.5% Scandinavian, but with this recent update there is now no Scandinavian ancestry detected. I was 14.8% broadly Northwestern European. What that means is that they found DNA that matches that region, but they can't assign it to a specific place. Now that has gone down to 3.5% broadly Northwestern European. I was 4% Eastern European, specifically traced to Slovenia. Now that number has gone down to 3.6% Eastern European traced to Slovenia. I was 1.2% Greek and Balkan, specifically traced to Croatia. That number bumped up slightly to 1.3%. One that was added that wasn't on my previous report was 0.4% Spanish and Portuguese. This is interesting because the first time when I first did the test, the Spanish and Portuguese was on there, and then they took it off, and now it's back. I was 1.2% broadly Southern European, and now there is no percentage of broadly Southern European detected. And then I was 1.1% broadly European, and that number has gone down to 0.4% broadly European. Now this was the part that was really interesting to me, since I am only 99.5% European. What's interesting is where the 0.5% comes from. Before, it said that I was 0.5% Northern African. That number has bumped down slightly to 0.4%. On the previous report, it said that I was 0.1% broadly Central and Southern Asian. Now that is saying that it's 0.1% unassigned. What that means is that they couldn't match that DNA to a specific location. I think this type of thing is so interesting. I've always been into my ancestry and researching my family tree. I think it is pretty accurate and I really like how it updates over time as more research is done. I've also, since the last update, have dived into more of my family tree because I was really, really curious about the Croatia part of my DNA, and I found out that my great-grandfather was actually born in Croatia, not in Austria like we thought. He immigrated to Austria at a young age, but originally he was born in Croatia. It's pretty cool. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I currently post new videos once a week, every Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram at Abigail underscore May underscore 24. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.